smash. Last three hits, last three hits, boys. Let's go. So basically, we do a five man drill with four guys holding these pads here. And the idea is just uh, to ship the ball down the line, avoid the pads as much as you can, and just look for the space, talk to each other. Um, I started on the HIPS programme when I was 16, just coming, just close to finishing school, just doing my GCSEs and that sort of thing. I didn't know what to expect. It was quite daunting at first because it was rugby and uh, it was just because of the way I was back then, I was quite uh, nervous and shy and rather antisocial. And like, I wasn't really keen to sort of meet a whole new group of people and try and make friends, that sort of thing. But the atmosphere there at the time was like, it was really, it was really nice. Like the coaches were all like really friendly. They were just like, have a chat with you, you know, get you involved as much as they could. Um, and yeah, it was just like a really nice environment. So I stuck at it. And four years later, I'm still sort of there now. I'm, as a teenager at school, I was fairly awkward and shy. As in my first uh, year, year and a half of school, um, I was picked on a little bit because I was just like really shy and awkward, didn't really want to talk to anyone. Sports was my main focus and the sort of brought me out of my shell a little bit towards, well, and rugby has definitely brought me out of my shell massively in the last four odd years now. You know, where I'm from in Scotland is a real rugby area. So I played, you know, uh, since I was about four or five, and I think it just sort of teaches you fantastic values in terms of teamwork, in terms of leadership, in terms of honesty, in terms of work rate. And the thing I also got, you know, since I was a uh, young, uh, uh, young child, I've had a stammer. And so I feel that sort of being in the team environment, it really, really helped me. Uh, uh, with that and I think more specifically in terms of my confidence. I think it's absolutely fantastic that the Wooden Spoon, Comic Relief, Barclays and Land Rover are all supporting the HITS programme because they're helping to make a massive difference. For the last 30 years we've been supporting disadvantaged children and young people right the way across the UK and Ireland. We support anybody under the age of 25 years old who may be mentally, physically, or in the case of HITS Project, socially disadvantaged. So it's a very broad church. And in the last few years, we've really focused on programmes that address social need in the community. And of course, HITS is the, the key project for us. Wooden Spoon had been, for a number of years, exploring other avenues in uh, addressing social need. Um, and we very quickly came to realise that the game of, of rugby, like many sports, but rugby goes a little bit further in engaging young people from disparate backgrounds, gives them the opportunity to crash about, uh, hit into each other and so on, and, and really vent their anger, um, but in a controlled environment. And it was then a question of, OK, having got the engagement from the young people, how do we move them further? And how do we take them on to new opportunities in their life? And, and HITS provided those platform, so it's fantastic. Back when I was 16 still, obviously I was doing my GCSEs, um, but where I'd failed my GCSE maths in school, I was talking to one of the coaches about this years ago, and then he, where he was quite good at maths, the HITS officer at the time, Max, he was quite good at maths, so he sat down with me once a week, went through my maths, um, and then it came for me to take my maths again in college. I passed it with, like, with a B, which is like the highest grade I've ever gotten in any kind of like, GCSE. Eventually sort of got into Middlesex University. I'm still getting like, lots of help with all my uni stuff, a bit of coursework here and there. So they've been like, really amazing to me. So. Coaching other HITS participants, it's been a bit funny because obviously these are the guys that I used to sort of play with. These are the guys that I first started playing with four years ago. It's pretty cool like, just being one of the coaches, just trying to sort of give back if anything and just sort of just like learn from them so with like culture and stuff I'm still always learning obviously um, about myself and how to be a better coach and obviously the lead coaches they they're always just like giving you a bit of advice here and there about how to sort of improve and that sort of thing so uh, overall I'm sort of really enjoying it.